what's up welcome back to my channel today as you can see i did a creepy doll halloween look this is more like evil stitched mouth doll halloween look i really love the idea of doing like a doll look i thought the eyes were super super cool um but i wanted to add a little bit of a gore effect to it because i'm not used to doing anything like that and i thought why not let's try something new let's step out of our comfort zone even more so i decided to use this this is just liquid latex tissue some thread and some fake blood guys that is it what was hard was how long it took because i am new to this it took me a little long to do all of this but i was able to catch on pretty quickly and honestly it looks pretty cool if you ask me Halloween is almost here, so I felt like this would be a really great idea. You guys wanted to see more Halloween looks. I asked on my Insta stories and you guys totally wanted to see more. I was so surprised and blown away by how many of you requested more Halloween looks. So this is another one for you guys. It seems like this year is more of a spooky year for me. Last year I did more like pretty stuff, but this year I really wanted to go in on the gore. So I did more like spooky looks this year. Might even do another one. Not really sure. It might be cute next. Who knows? Not sure what I'm going to come out with next, but if you guys have any recommendations or any requests, Please put them down in the comments. I would love to see what you guys want me to do. And before we get started, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that whenever I post a video, you guys know what's up. If you'd like to know how I got this evil, creepy doll Halloween look, please keep watching. First thing I did was prep my eye with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to try and keep this video pretty fast because this is going to take forever. I'm going to go ahead and try and talk as quick as I can and just show you everything. So most of this video is probably going to be like in super speed. So I'm going to take the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Earth Hue Palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm taking a Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. And I'm going to start applying this slightly above my crease. I'm basically just doing this like in back and forth motions to make sure I get a nice blend above the crease. I also forgot to mention, yes, I did do my foundation off camera. I also did some contouring off camera. Um, I really wanted to do some of it off camera because there's already so much that I'm doing in this video today. So I didn't want to make this super, super long. No one wants to sit through like an hour video, 45 minute video. So I just did my uh, foundation of camera, my concealer. Um, and the only thing I did different for the um, contouring is I brought the contour in like towards my cheek here to give it like more of a doll effect. So I wanted to really hug like the apple of my cheek to kind of give that little, you know, this little like doll effect now we're moving on to the crease and we're gonna take this shade and this is gonna go in the crease by the way this is a Mikasa Beauty E310 pencil brush and this is basically going in the crease now I'm gonna go back in with that Sigma diffused crease and I'm going to blend out to diffuse the shade that we just added into the crease. Hold, oh, please. Next, see, see that? My claw, my claw did that. I'm so disappointed in myself. It's such a nice shade too. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's more of like a brick color, like a burgundy-ish brown toned color. So I'm going to take some of that with the same pencil brush and I'm going to apply that like right into the crease, like right where it folds. This is going to add some dimension and depth into the eye. And the reason I'm doing this specific look is because you really want to make your eye look bigger because dolls obviously have larger wider eyes so i thought something like this with a more wider cut crease would really open up my eye a bit i'm just going to go back in with that same sigma diffuse crease and blend that out 
So now I'm just gonna take this deeper brown shade in the palette. I'm gonna use this very thin angled brush and I'm going to apply this in the crease, but just on the edge here. And then I'm gonna go back in with that diffused brush and blend it into the crease. Now comes the fun part, which is cutting the crease. And it literally gave me so much trouble today. I'm really not sure why, but I just wanted to poke my eyeballs out. Going in with the Tarte Shave Tape Concealer and I'm gonna go in and cut my crease. So now I'm gonna mix these two shades in the Pinky Rose palette and apply that wherever I cut the crease. So now we are going to do some eyeliner. So we're gonna use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. And I'm just gonna start from the center of my eye. I don't want this wing to be dramatic. This is a small wing because then we're gonna attach this white part right to whatever wing that we create. Careful and not to make this eyeliner too thick. If you put too much eyeliner, it'll close your eye again and then it won't look as open. Okay, so before I get to the lower lash line, I'm going to throw on a pair of lashes. This is the Boldface Makeup Lashes in the Style Power Pair. The awesome thing about these lashes is that they have a thinner band with the same 3D lash style. So I absolutely love it so much. If you have time, go check them out. So now it's probably the harder part of all of this. And that is creating this very open eye doll-like kind of look to the eye. So to start this whole thing, I went in with the NYX Retractable Eyeliner. This is in the color white, obviously. And I'm going to take it down. Basically, we're creating a fake waterline. All the way to the tear duct. I'm also going to put some in my waterline. Now that I kind of have a little sketch of where I want to apply that white, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. Oh, I just got some of my contact. That is a weird feeling. So now I'm actually going to go in with these little Halloween cream paints that I picked up. I'm going to be taking this white shade just so I can intensify the white color that I put with the liner. I'm just taking a thin little brush. This is just going to intensify it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this deep brown shade mixed with a little bit of black and I'm going to basically make a fake lower lash line. I'm just going to draw it on. Right underneath where we applied that white color. Just trace along the line of where we put that. So I'm going to go back in with those first two red shades that I took from the Pinky Rose palette. And I'm just going to grab a little bit onto my brush and smoke that on the fake lower lash line that we just created. Also want to bring it down slightly a little lower than usual because we will be applying lower lashes. And you need to make sure that you get the shadow low enough for it to show with the lower lashes. So now we are going to add our lower lashes. So I actually found these little lower lashes in uh, my collection of things. Um, I don't really know what brand they are, but I did find them in my drawers. 
so I thought they were just perfect. Um, I already cut them up to a little bit of a shorter size so they can fit in my lower lash line. I'm just going to apply some glue really quick. You're basically applying these right on the lower lash line that we drew on. So I did end up on this eye drawing on a little bit more lashes to create more of a dramatic effect. So I'm going to go back in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner and just draw a few more lines right underneath. I'm just adding this shade into the corner of my eyes. I feel like whenever you put a brighter color in the inner corner of your eye, it kind of opens up your eye a little bit more. Before we start on all of the gory stuff, I'm going to go in and do my lips really quick. So I'm going to, I didn't even pick a color. Dolls have really tiny lips. Obviously they're more of like in a heart shape. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of put concealer on the sides of my mouth here. Now I'm taking this LA Girl Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Cherry. And I'm just going to try and make these very plump little heart shaped lips. I'm going to go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Coca Collection Liquid Lip in the shade Gorge. Okay, so obviously dolls have super, super rosy cheeks. So I'm going to go in with this Sigma Aura Blush Powder. This is in the shade Nymphia. And I'm going to apply some of that to the apples on my cheeks. I'm going in with this blush. Like, I want it to look like a real doll. So, dolls also have freckles. I don't really have, like, any brown paint. So, I'm going to take this MAC Cosmetics Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Choco Tease. It's, like, a really brown shade. And I'm going to take this Mikasa Beauty E110 brush. This is a very small pointed and defined brush and I'm going to attempt to do some freckles. I'm really not sure how this is going to come out. I've never really tried it, but let's see. So at this point, if you like the look of the whole doll, you can stop here. So this is pretty much like the nicer version of a doll. You have all of the features of a doll that you would need. All you could really do is maybe like add a few bows like here or maybe on top and that's pretty much it. You're set to go. But if you're like me today and you want to try out some gory stuff, then keep watching this tutorial and we will get into all of that right now. <sighs> Guys, I've never done this before, but I'm excited to try it out. So let's do this. All right, so I have some liquid latex that I literally ran to Party City and bought, as well as some blood effects. This is premium. This is the Tinsley Premium Hollywood Blood FX. It's basically just a little bottle of drying blood. It's, this is safe and non-toxic. Both of these products I picked up from Party City. Super quick, I just ran down there because this was a very last minute um, idea. I have these little sponges from Ulta. These are the little beauty wedges. And this is perfect because it has like this thinner edge. So what I'm going to be doing is putting like a cut. I'm not going to put like a stitch through the mouth. I thought it would add like a cool creepy effect which is not like crazy because I'm not trying to go like super crazy yet. I don't think I'm there yet. But um, I thought this was a pretty cool idea. I was either going to use like staples or I actually thought that um, thread would be cooler. So we're going to be using this thread here. I'm going to take the thinner edge of the sponge. So I'm going to start from the edge of my mouth. So this is kind of like a bit of like a joker effect, like joker's mouth. I'm going to grab a thin piece of tissue. I'm only going to be doing one layer for this and apply this on top. And then just remove whatever you don't need. Like this here. Don't need that. Don't need any of this. I'm 
So go ahead and apply a layer of latex on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. We are now going to slice the little part where we are supposed to have like a cut open mouth. There we go. Hook the little hole. No, I'm not cutting my skin even if it looks like it. Please be careful when you're doing this, if you try this, um, make sure that you're lifting far enough from your skin so you don't cut yourself. I had to cut this side open off camera because I had a little difficulty cutting it. So basically I put it on and then I let it dry off camera before cutting it and making it look like um, my mouth is cut open. So now the little parts are cut open. And what we're gonna do now is start to apply foundation to blend it in with our skin color. So I'm gonna take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is in the shade Tan Honey. And I'm just going to Blend it in. So I'm going to take the deepest shade in the Pinky Rose palette with a more smaller defined brush and I'm just going to shade inside of the scar. I'm also going to pull at the ends of my scar to kind of strip them out and make them look a little bit more realistic. So I went ahead and I did this side off camera just so I could see exactly how it was going to come out. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on this side. So basically what I did was after shading all of um, the scar inside. I'm gonna go in with my blood effects. This is the fake blood that I used. So I'm just grabbing like a glob of fake blood and applying it into the scar. Now I'm really gonna take like big globs of it and put it inside just to make it look a little bit more clotted. Okay, so really the hard part of all of this for me is putting the little strings. It was so tricky for me to figure out how to do it. What I'm going to do is grab a little bit of liquid latex. And then what I did with these little threads was I kind of um, dirty them up. Like I grabbed a brush and kind of put like black and brown um, eyeshadow over them. They're not super dirty, but I kind of went over them a little bit after I put them on my face. I like held it there. And I turned it over and went like that. Oh, see, it's hard. This is gross. I don't know what gave me this idea. Like, even look like maggots on my face. It's gross. I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to just dip into few of the shades and lightly dust over these. Okay, so the next thing I did was I went back into the Pinky Rose palette and I took this shade right here. So what I'm going to do is grab some of that on my pencil brush and I'm going to shade the edges of the threads. So I'm going to take more of that fake blood. 
I'm gonna put like a glob of it at the very end of the thread. All right guys, this is the final result. I feel like I can't really move my mouth that much, so I'm sorry if I don't talk right at the moment. But this is pretty much how it turned out, and honestly, I kind of surprised myself. So these are actually just like little clip-on bangs that I put. I feel like most creepy dolls or dolls in general have like bangs. So instead of going out and buying a wig, I just tied up my hair in two little ponytails, and then at the end of the tutorial, I just clipped these on super quick. I've never, ever, ever, ever tried anything with liquid latex or any SFX stuff. So this was pretty cool. It isn't professional or anything, but I'm still pretty proud of myself. I think this is pretty awesome. But I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if any of you recreate this look, please feel free to tag me. I would love to see your guys' recreations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that whenever I post a video, you guys are the first ones to know. Happy early Halloween, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to go in with that red shade, and I'm... I'm nervous. I feel like I have like a very Wednesday Adams vibe going on right now. I'm weirder than you guys think. You guys never just seen the real me. So what I did was I grabbed a little bit of liquid latex. So what I did was I grabbed a little bit of latex. Why can't I speak? Happy Harley Halloween. Oh, that's right, because it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Oh, oh my god. So what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of latex. Take like five.